why do comics prefer to be close to peppermint patty candy bars? Well, because they like to be near mint. Ah! This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Greetings and salutations, my fellow comic book lovers. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And uh, today we got another Silver Age key book I would like to share with you. I already cut the sides to make this go a little faster. And this one is a book that for some reason, it's a key, it's a key issue. It's one a lot of people I see wanting on their wish lists. And this is now my fourth copy of this book. And I have gotten this book under a hundred dollars every single time. And I mean, these aren't 9.8s by any means. These are lower grades, but still, even in lower grades, this book is pretty darn expensive. But I, it's one of the things that I want to show people that if you really, you know, take the time and effort to look for books and to take your time with it, you will find deals. And this should show you what I'm talking about. So let me get some of this rubbish out of the way and zoom in a little bit so you could see it a little better. All right, let me take away one of these layers. This is obviously a little too high. Okay, so before I reveal what this book is, don't forget to wait until the end of each and every video because I do what's called a surprise subscriber shout out. All you have to do is be a subscriber to get that shout out. And if you want to ask for one, I will definitely put you on the waiting list. Just keep in mind there are a few people that might be ahead of you. All right, so with that being said, let's show the comic that I keep finding. And we have... Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 50, which is the first appearance of Kingpin. And this is absolutely an iconic cover. And uh, again, you know, not in the highest of grades. I mean, you could see on the bottom all the color breaks. You could see right here and here, there are some color breaks there. Uh, I will have to change the bag and board. You could see right there, there's some chipping. So this is probably a 2.5, maybe a 3.0, but still considering not a bad price for this book. Well, I have to tell you that, and then you'll be determined on that. Now, I've seen even in lower grades, this book go for about 125 and up. And I paid, with shipping and handling, $51.70 for this book. Now, just to show you that I'm not just talking, I'm going to lift this up a second. There are three others that I've gotten, and I'll show you the prices of them. So let me grab them so you can see. Now, this one, oh, sorry about that. This one, yeah, let me straighten that out. There is a piece of the cover missing. That happens, but overall, still not a bad book. I paid $55.57 for that one. This one right here, you could see there is some damage along where you see the Spider-Man on the top left-hand corner. There's some color breaks. The corner has, looks like maybe a little insect bite or something. The bottom there, you could see color loss. Again, lower grade, I paid $68. I think that's the most expensive one, and $0.77. Cents. And then the last one... This one I got as a steal. This came with an Amazing Spider-Man 300 that had a detached cover. So again, you could see color breaks around here as well. Still overall, they are all complete. This one, $22.48. So this is a key issue book with an iconic cover and I managed to get four of them for what some people would pay for one so there are always deals to be found this is one of the things I tell people don't get discouraged because trust me I don't have tens of thousands of dollars to be able to spend on books 
I wait for deals and I will pass up opportunities until I find one because they will be around. And here's four examples of a key issue comic that is basically way below the price of what the going value is. So never get discouraged. Keep looking. If you find a book that you want, don't just buy it because, wow, I haven't seen it in a while and I really want this book and I'm just going to get it. Well, you're going to pay a lot more than you really should. And I guarantee you a lot of people that are buying this book nowadays are probably spending over 100 to $200, even in lower grade. So you have to be patient in this game if you want to save money. If you just want to get it just to get it, well, you're going to have to pay that price. So look for deals, pass up on opportunities that just don't feel like they fit your needs and wants, and know there were always going to be other opportunities. So again, another key issue, I am so glad to add to my collection, and I will keep getting these if I keep finding them for these prices, because it's definitely worth it, even in low grade. So let me hear what you think. I always appreciate audience participation, and uh, if you have seen this far, then let me know what I am holding up right here, and that is a penny, a little dirty penny, but put that in the comment section, and uh, hit subscribe if you haven't, hit the like button if you would be so kind, hit the share button, just don't hit the person next to you, because we all know that's not nice, and uh, I do have a new lighting system, my lights came in, let me know what you think, uh, it does show a little bit of a glare, I'm going to have to kind of see, you know, back and forth what I can do with it to make it better, but I'm trying to make this the best as possible, so bear with me while I'm going through the experimental phase. So that's it, so thanks for watching, and don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching, and even Peter Parker has to take a bow.